Hello, everybody. How's it going? Yeah, I found the camera finally. Uh, good evening, good evening. This is George, your host. Welcome to the Akubo channel. Tonight's topic, as you see, Brian Shrimp and how to kill Hydra. So welcome, everybody. I see some people in the chat, and I see someone says I have an important message for Akubos. I wonder what that is. I'm ready to listen. So I hope I'm coming in. Hello, S. Welcome. It's the first day tonight. And Patty's, Patty, thanks. Hello. And oops, I'm pushing on the stuff. Yellowstone Aquatics, welcome. Lunatic French, that is Chewy, welcome. I'm trying to scroll and I'm pushing on stuff. And who is this guy? Aquavolts. Okay, that's me. Yeah. So I hope you're all doing good. Collaboration uh, of Curiosities. Hello, welcome. Mm -hmm. Outdoors with uh, Big Matt, welcome. Maria Z, hello, good evening. Welcome again. Hello, everybody. So I'm actually literally barbecuing outside, you know. I just it was running late because I had to take the kid to the bathroom and, you know, I had to carry him back to his stuff. Sorry, I apologize, you know, for running a few minutes late. And I was making a cup of coffee. Laura Scott, hello. S no, Sutton, 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 sorry. I can't pronounce very good. What's that? Pips low ship. Hello, welcome. Saying I can't stay long since I have to go. Let's go ahead and get going. Okay, so I want to talk about how I make my brine shrimp. I make a lot of brine shrimp every day. I do feeding in the morning, a whole entire. They call it the blender from. Uh, Cory Aquarium Co-op. He sells it on his website, aquariumcoop.com. Uh, it's called the Zist Blender. I purchased three of them. It's plenty. I only need two for what I have for right now. But three is extra, which is good, you know, in case I uh, break it. Not yet, my friend. No. Let me see what Chewy is saying. Akubos, I have a Steve phone number for you. He wants you to. Yes, I'm not an email guy. Thank you. Appreciate it, Chewy. Uh, can you, like, email it to me? If you can email it or message it to me on Facebook, Instagram, email it. Uh, email should be in my... It's, it should be under the under one of my videos. If it's not, I can put it under. So let me talk about how I make my branch and I use instant ocean salt, first of all. I found out it melts fast and, uh, you know, it's easy. I use it for my salt water. And I use that, if you want to know. In five-gallon bucket, two and a half cups, measuring cups of salt. That brings up the salinity to 1.2.5 salt water like exactly like ocean salt water and that's my salinity and then i go ahead and put it in this blender and i take four tiny scoops of baby brine shrimp you can get the baby brine shrimp from anywhere you like like um i get mine from brine shrimp direct i think it's called if i'm not mistaken i'm sorry if i am uh, that's how I make it. 24 hours, they hatch for me. Like, no joke. It becomes about 80% hatch. And I leave it for a little longer, like the next morning. Like, let's say 24, like 38 hours. I use it, you know. Now, when you start using brine shrimp, you, you have a lot of fry. You feed, sometimes you do extra, you start getting something called hydra. Hydra will exterminate your fry. They have little tentacles. If you've seen on the videos, uh, 
the page, you know, I have Hydra, I have Brian Shrimp, uh, Vanessa Tank. What's up, guys? Hello, welcome. And so, Hydra will kill fry. I have lost many fry for Hydra, rainbow fry, guppy fry, all kinds of fry. So, I have another method I found out, very simple, and it just costs a couple of dollars, which is, you know, whatever it's, the price is, whatever you find it from. I got mine. I got mine from Detroit Shrimp and Aquatics. He had it. I hope you guys can see this. It's called Aqua. Aqualex. I hope you can see it. Let me get my head out of the way. Can you guys see it? I mean, I'm trying to show it to you. Okay. So this is a powder. Inside, it comes in with a little tiny scoop. And it's closed. It's got this brown looking powder. It's plant based. It doesn't harm your fish or your plant or any kind of biological bacteria. It supposedly kills Hydra and Planaria, but I don't know about Planaria. I never had good luck killing Planaria, which maybe I never tried it. A Hydra, the next morning, if you dose this, which what I do is I take like a, I put this in there and as much as fits right this much on top right here, I dump it on the 20 gallon and mix the top of the water. Sometimes the fish eats it. It's all good. And so it's called Aqua, Aqualex. It's made by Aqualex Natural Planaria Remover for shrimp and plants. So it's a great product. Hello, Fisherman 64. It's a great product. I swear by it because uh, it works for me, guys. I mean, I use it for soft water, hard water, no problem. And the next day, I drag on. They melt. Literally, they eat that stuff and they kind of like poison kills them, which is good. You know, we don't want Hydra. Hydra kills our prime. So this is the product again. Sorry, I, it's not coming up really good on there. There you go. I don't know. For some reason, maybe it's my camera. I see some daily lights coming up. Could be this light right here. Let's see. No, it is this light actually. Let me put that down a little bit. Maybe that would work. All right, a little bit. No, it's actually that tank. You see it on top? So. Mm -mm. Trying to fix the light. There we go. I want to show you the... Let me do it this way. So you can see the letters and everything. I'm reading the mail. Miss Aquabos is on there saying hi to everybody. So, guys, I want to, that's it. You know, pretty much, that's it. Uh, that's how I kill the Hydra. That's how I make my branch. Right? I want to show you guys, I've been doing a lot here lately in the fish room. I got beautiful creatures again made. Let me turn the camera around and go slowly tank by tank oh turn the lights on real quick oh yeah we added uh, some more tanks tonight Amira, nope that's not what I wanted to do I think it's this one alright check out these babies right here we got some angel fry. Where are you guys? Hello, guys. Where are you? 
Oh, there in the back, you can see some. See him in the back corner? Those are my angels uh, fry from this beautiful pair of angels right here. Oops, a little blurry. There's mom and dad. What else is interesting here? This tank is kind of getting in my nerves. This CO2 stuff. And the, you can see, look, it's not looking so great. I got a melt off going on a little bit. You know, I got to work on with it. Oh, I added some shrimp in there. Wait, are you wait? Oh, here we go. Crystal shrimps. So some kind of a fancy tiger. I got my from LFS. Check this pair out. I hope they're up there. They're doing all right. This pair, okay. Uh, reading stop. Female needs to get a little more, you know, bigger. I can see him chasing her right now, uh, like bugging her. I'm just going to get a little happier. Guys, check out this. I've got a lot of pistogrammas coming up in the near future, which I do have some available right now, a few of them, not a whole lot. If anybody interested in some homebred apistogramma from redfish, bluefish stock, those were from uh, Venezuelan. I do have some. Not whole a lot. Like this is the Inca 50. The fry is still small, not available. You can see some of the fry right there. Yup, there's some right there. Uh, Mama is in the middle. There's right there one. A baby going by, and there's a one looking at us. Oh, there's one right. Where are you? Where'd you go? There's a bunch of them. There are a bunch of them in there. Trust me. There's one right in front of us. So those are the Inca 50 babies. They're slow, a little slow growing, but they're growing. Also, a bunch of guppies. These are right here, some of the Neolamprologus daffodil fry. And, uh, ooh, mosquito. Trying to eat me. Let me get him. Oh. Mosquito, that's bad. Why are you doing this to me? We got a mosquito guest here tonight. Oh, gosh. I don't want to get bit by this mosquito tonight. Nope. George fighting with a mosquito. Literally nice. Where'd you go, you bad mosquito? Anyway, don't stop so you don't get bit. So here we go. Check this out. These are uh, my... Zebra Akara, my first time bred them in the back, the mom with the bunch of fry in the corner, the dark patch you see, it's a bunch of fry. Um, got some tuxedo koi guppies coming up in the near future, mixing up some bloodlines. My avatar just, just bred tonight again. I have a bunch of eggs on the glass. Right in the... Check it out. Right there, you see a bat patch right there. Mom looking at it. Anyway, let's let them be. Also, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, new tanks added. Ten gallons. I'm actually right now. Um, what is it called? Testing to see if they're leaking, but I made a little boo boo. That's why you see a couple of waters. I was overfilled with one of them, just one of them. Just a tiny bit. And I got a lot of these guys here. Some of them are available to fly out of here, but I only see like one male right there. And then I see a bunch of females. Let's see if there's another male. There's like one, two, three, four. Those are almost adult size. They're like almost breeding size. Sepachromis, no, what is it called? Um, yeah, Sepachromis leptosoma, 
utensils. Check them out. Oh yeah, a pistol grammar I have available. These guys, they're still small. Need the bottom. Few more weeks to breeding size. Uh, they're juvies, you can see them. These are from Jason, redfish, bluefish, the trifasciaras. The pistogramma trifasciaras. Trifasciaras. Ooh, a big one. That's a daddy. That's a boy right there. And uh, I can see his pins are a little red. Trifasciaras are gorgeous. And here's the female. I'm going to be reading to the one male. Sent me. He's in there. She's bullying him. I got the top clothes. They're not going to jump. So he's kind of like hiding. Over here, another trifasciara I got from Color Guppy, Bene. And thank you very much, my brother. He's awesome. This trifasciara I like way more. Uh, male died, but a uh, bunch of babies got left, you know, behind. And uh, what you call it, uh, guys? I'm gonna put the video on pause really quick. I got the barbecue going. <laughs> Give me a minute. Let me check on that. So I don't want to burn up dinner, you know. It's been 15 minutes. I kind of know out of the top of my head. Here you go. Check out. Oh. Literally, they're making dinner right here. We got the prongs right here. Marinated. Some other protein, beef and chicken. Close this on. Hold on. Sorry about that, huh? Hold on. So check this tank out. This is my grow out angels. A bunch of these growing up, but I, I mean, I got a bunch of them available too. Some of these can go this uh platinum blues, there is a couple koi's. Uh, let's go back to the sophistogrammas. These are all available fish I'm showing you, okay, guys. So, this is my female, she got left here. She bred one of the boys that I uh, the babies that grew up from the daddy. And I seen that and I removed everybody else was there. And then I put them in a separate tank, which is right here. Little, not going to see clean. This one's the LG up because I don't want to mess them, you know, mess with them. The top is closed. Um, that's because you see in the reflection on top is not dirty or anything. Okay. See that? Water is clean. It's just the glass. Dirty. The dust on the glass. So I got like six of these. These guys is boy. Uh, and there's two uh, Furcara rainbows. Look at them. They're breeding on that mop. There's like, I bet you there's eggs on it right now. If I go check them out. There's like six apistos in here. Uh, one of them right there. That's a boy. I'm sure I see the blue and the red on it. And there's a better boy in the back right there. Oh, he's over there. Check him out. So if you can see the camera, guys, uh, he's coming forward, I hope. Where are you? Keep coming. That guy. That's the trifasciata. I really, really. This guy's is jean. For some reason, is way brighter. Red on top. And the blues are very beautiful. It's another type of trifasciata. It looks amazing. Which is the one uh, redfish. Bluefishes look great also, but this one I'm liking more. The, the top finish is bigger. I could be wrong, you know, it could be another species, but I was told it's Trifasciata. When they sent me that one, it's a great fish. I enjoyed breeding it. And check out some guppies here. We got two, a bunch of these. Um, got Pseudomigo uh, Luminaris, but not giving those out yet. Let them grow up. I want to breed them again, and then maybe I'll sell some. What else? Oh, these are pistols here. I got about three males. 
Jovis. Uh, these are the Inca 50. No, wait a minute. Ni no, a pistol grammar Nitsenai, ni Nitsenai. This is the Nitsenai. That's the male. Oh, Big Daddy right there. Uh, female right there. That's a female. The one on the left, the Big Daddy, and then there's some brothers and stuff. So check them out. Those are gorgeous. So, and then that one is the Inca 50s daddy by himself. He still haven't uh, separated it. Okay. Some avatar babies growing out here. The avatar angels. Not gonna send those to anybody. Okay. <laughs> I hope you guys don't ask me for these. Uh, I'm not selling them yet. So here's my brand shrimp. Hatcheries, one, two, three. This one, I have salt water. I mix my salt water, like I said, in a five gallon. Got a little, uh, like a pump going on it. See, always turning. And the salt's being mixed, not being stale. Uh, some baby Corridoras coming up soon also. Where are you guys? Let's see. Oh, those are the blue Venezuelan Corridoras. But I don't know how they ship. I don't know if they can be shipped or not. I never did it. Wow, that's a nice tank, I know. Uh, show me your buddies. Come on, guys. Where are you? They're hiding. <laughs> They're like, there's no food. Why would we? Oh, there's one. There's one. There's one. They're very cute when they're babies. Oh, there's one right there on the gravel. Come on, move, little guy. Atkins, welcome. Marie, Ian saying hi to you, my love. Also, I got some Julie the Chromis transcriptus beam bus. Some, not a whole lot, like maybe. Let me see how many I got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But. 11, 12 of them. See, those are the transcriptists. The one going right there. Uh, there's a little one right there. Also, I got some Sumbus, the uh, Alto Lamprologa Sumbu. But those are not going to go anywhere yet. I want to make an army of them before I send them anywhere. Hmm. Check this tank out. I'm breeding some of the fish that Maria sent me. Maria C. Those rainbows right there. You see them? They are very gorgeous. This is a 110-gallon tank. And uh, I got mops in there. They're breeding. Um, and then I hatched the mops in, the, in this tank right here. Green water. Magic water. That's the magic water. And check out this beta tank, guys. Enjoy. Voila. Appreciation of the fish nation. Okay, let me show you some angels. Babies, babies growing up so nice and nice. These are available, but not the avatars. Don't ask me for any avatars. Right now, don't. Not another another couple months later, maybe. This will be bigger anyway. So the avatars, you're gonna see blue shin on their face. You see that one? That one on top? Those are the babies. They're actually shipping size right now, the quarter size. Some smaller, some bigger. That one's big right there. Those two, three big. Uh, the platinums I can let go. I'm going to keep few for me. Let's see. There was a couple Filipinos here too. Uh, Philippine blues. I know which one they are. They have more stripe. Let me see. Well, are you in there? Actually, I don't see any Philippine blues. 
the, the Philippine Blues have they, that might be one. Where are you? Little tiny one. No, it might not be. Let me see. That guy. No, looks like an avatar to me. They have an extra. That one is not. That one is from the one pair. Man, this guy's not like. I never liked it. The pair was really beautiful. The fish looked great. The the the, the, the leopard tiger, whatever it is, didn't like it. See how it looks. Didn't like it. Let's hope that one grows and we can cross them somewhere. Let's check out the avatars. These are gorgeous fish. Also, I got more. These are the parents for the Typicromus leptosoma the, from Utenta. Look at how much fry is in there, guys. Ooh, they just released a bunch of it, too. So this is the breeding tank, the 60 gallon. And then when I get the babies out, whenever they hold, oh, look at their daddy. Look at their daddy. Look at the, the head. When they get big, they become like that beautiful male. Look at that beautiful male. Wow. So he's the daddy. Look at his face. The blue. Oh, yeah. I got available. Not a whole lot of males, but the fry going to get, they grow quick. Also, there's other fish in there, too. We've seen this little warm-looking thing. Those are gobies. Those are my beautiful gobies. Gobies. They think they're going to be fed. Um, the Cluptress breeding tank. Here's the daddy Cluptress right there. Yo, what are you guarding, buddy? I don't see fry. What are you? If I see fry, I'm taking him tonight. <laughs> because they're gorgeous. See that male right there? Look at him. He's like, Wee! I'm out. I do have some fries from him. Not a whole lot. And they're going nice and big. And then we got these betas right here. Those are all my betas, guys. Uh, as you see, I want to talk about one thing here. Uh, these betas, they're not totally obese. They're not overfed. I have seen betas. They're obese. Like, no joke. They, when you overfeed betas and same food every time and don't give them different food, they are going to be deformed, guys. They're not going to be show quality betas. They're not going to. They're going to be very unhealthy looking betas. They'll live not very long, short life. These are all my fry. I grow them, growing them up from babies. Uh, they usually like it in the tank. They get along. Yeah, but do. That's very good tank. That one is amazing. I know. Okay. Plenty of shellies. Anybody want shellies? Hit up George, guys. Look how many I have. Woo! Shelly, shelly, shelly tank. I want to start selling some shellies. Uh, the balloon ones are not here anymore. I took them out. Took them out of there. They're not, you know, there was two deformed ones in there. I took them out. That's all from hundreds of fish. Only two deformed. It's not bad. Not bad at all. You can see the quality. Great fish. They're not scared. That's the best thing because my fish is not wild cut. They're homebred. Their value should be a lot more than the wild cut because they're like, look at me. They're, I'm like on the glass and tapping the glass and they're not even scared of me. Like, I don't want to make them deaf, you know. And some of this is going to be available later. Not right now. I got babies growing like these guys are some fry. I got one. Two, those are uh, mom and dad in the back. That's a dad right there. That one's a dad. That one's a nice male. Parasipochroma stuff to soma blue neons. Not available now. Later, later. Make Let me make my army first. Yeah, guys. So, pretty much it. This tank, you know, putting the oddballs in some rainbows and some angels and same old same old this one's growing up some like uh, altos that one got some uh parasipochromis some saltwater fish right here 
and we don't want to burn that barbecue. Yeah, I know. Okay. And it's been 30 minutes. I'm really going to call it. I got to go feed the family, guys. Thank you for joining in. This night is not going to be a uh, too long video. That's my Inca 50 female, Mama. You see the... Look how gorgeous she is. I will have some available later. Okay, guys? I got a bunch of babies. Look at them. Look at them growing so fast, too. This Apisto Grandma is going to be my... They are like my favorite, favorite fish right now lately because I'm going very successful with them. Also, want to say something. So... My my rainbow shiners here. Check them out. Those are the ones I always sh sh kept showing. Uh, they lost that blue color when they got older, guys. For some reason, do you see the top? They're kind of more red. Uh huh. I know they're not in the breeding dress anymore. And I got like one, two female, and the rest of them are boy. Still the same ones. I do have some juvenile, and they haven't gotten big enough to get the breeding colors on it. You know? All righty. Let's say good night, everybody. Oh, got some fish too, but they're still small. Tiny, tiny. Let me show. Um, oh, where are you guys? They're inside here, all over the back. You see the black piece looking like there by the filters, a couple of them by the rocks. They're between the rocks. They're tiny, still small. It's not a histogram. Of, oh, there's the rainbow shine of front. Not a whole lot. I do got some. Okay, guys, thank you for coming by. Thank you for all of my mods. Thank you for everybody. Have a good evening. Good night. Doing what you're doing. I love this, Abby. Laters.